So good morning and welcome to the Still House at Dunnit Bay Distillery. Um, I'm going to talk you through where the magic happens, where we make Rock Rose Gin and Holy Grand Sport Camp. So this is the still we've been using here since we first were established way back in 2014. And we're a family business owned by Claire and Martin Murray. And this still, uh, which is called Elizabeth, after Queen Elizabeth, the Queen Mother, who was a gin and Dubonnet drinker, is a 500 litre traditional copper pot still. It was made for us, bespoke by the oldest still maker in Europe, a company called John Daw, down in England. Now the 500 litres is built here, in this little hatch here, and it comprises 200 litres of Scottish water, which comes from 20 miles away, approximately, up to the west, from Loch Calder, and the other 300 litres comprise the neutral grains for it, made out of wheat. And as you can see, the copper pot still sits on top of a stainless steel Ban Marie. And there's water in the Ban Marie, and when we heat that using electricity from solar panels generated on the roof, it causes the two liquids in the still to evaporate and pass as an alcoholic vapour into this contraption, which is essentially like a big vegetable steamer. And this is where the botanicals are kept. And in here is a large copper basket that has got holes all around the side and in the bottom, and that's where the botanicals sit. And when we're making rock rose gin, we use 14 kilograms of botanicals. 10 of those kilograms are juniper, and we use two types of juniper to make our gin. Bulgarian juniper, which adds lemon sherbet notes to the gin, and Italian juniper, which adds some warmth and a richness. And in our gins, we use 18 different botanicals. And the other 16 botanicals, because we do count the juniper twice, account for the other four kilograms of those botanicals. And when we start this today, this vegetable steamer, um, which is known as a vapour infusion basket, is set initially at 91 degrees Celsius. And it goes off incrementally through the distillation process until it reaches 97 degrees Celsius. And what that means is that the alcoholic vapour that's coming off the still at different times in the distillation process is passing at different temperatures through those botanicals throughout the process, picking up lots of different flavours. And that alcoholic vapour, when it's infused with all those lovely botanicals, it travels First of all, along this small copper tube all the way to the top and down into this larger copper tube. And what we're distilling, this large copper tube is freezing cold because running inside the large copper tube are some glass tubes. And what we're distilling, we're pumping from a stream at the bottom of the distillery that's fed by St John's Lock, just to the side of the road in Dunnet, cold water. And that cold water condenses that alcoholic vapour into a spirit. So it comes out here into the spirit safe where it's checked by the distiller for temperature, taste, alcohol strength. If they're happy with it, the spirit then passes down a tube into a tank, this large stainless steel tank. And a tank of this size makes between, when it's diluted down, between 950 and 1,000 of these 700 milliliter earthenware bottles of gin or vodka. And when it goes into this tank here, the spirit is about 71%. And it settles overnight. And once it's settled, the next morning the distiller will come in with a really high tech piece of equipment, a stainless steel pizza paddle, and they'll dilute the spirit down to the right alcohol volume. So generally for us, it's 41.5% for most of our rock rose gins and our holy grass vodka, or 57% for our navy stroke. And the whole process of filling the stills with the water and the neutral grain spirit, filling the basket with those lovely botanicals, to get a tank of gin or vodka takes approximately 10 hours. So generally the distiller will come in at about 7 o'clock in the morning, start everything going, and by 4 or 5 o'clock in the afternoon, we've got a tank of gin and vodka. And that's
that's the whole process.